we're going to move on. Uh, I'm going to shout out uh, a show that we have on Tuesdays. It's called Let's Talk Football, The Round Table with my guy right over here, Nicholas Rosario, oh, Anthony that guy. Handy, and uh, Delilah Crespo. We'll be right back. We'll talk a little MVP talk, ladies and gentlemen. Be with us. Get back with us. Let's talk football. The round table on uh, Tuesday nights, and uh, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. That is a great, great show. Uh, I do, oh, I do want to address something really quickly. Uh, Kate said, "Sorry, I have a better hardball coach." Uh, no comment. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, I uh, I know, Kate, I know. We love you. Yeah, when they met in the biggest game in in uh, NFL in the Super Bowl, well, um, that hardball won. Daddy did. I'm, I'm just gonna say. You're just say it right. You're just gonna. Uh, I get it. We love say. you, Kate. But uh, yeah. this is Sunday. That uh, your coach played yesterday. Yeah. Or you know, or whatever. So uh, we're this is Sunday, honey. We love you, but uh, Here let's keep go. the hardball talk to a minimum, shall we? Right. Let's oh, yeah. Just, uh, oh yeah. Let's just move on. Let's just Alec, move on. what's going on? Say, I'm still shocked. The Ducks won yesterday. They played mm-hmm. a great game against formerly unbeaten UCLA. Uh, shout out to that. Shout out to Nicole. Let's talk football NFC South Takeover. Talk about let's go. I'm sorry. You <laughs> actually stay here, Nicole, because we're we're actually about to talk about your team next. Uh, Anthony <laughs> right. Dan, what Oregon? They are a good team. They should be no surprise there. Yeah. Would it be funny if Oregon ended up playing Georgia again? No, I don't want to see that. Do you? Right. Do you really want to see that? Anyway, we'll see what happens. Look, ladies and gentlemen, we are Let's Talk Football Sunday game day preview. And, but we, we got to go back because there is weekly games. And this week, it was a little better than the Thursday night game from last week. If you don't know who won the <laughs> Thursday night game from last week. Hey, yeah, Nick, yeah, who yeah, won yeah. the Thursday night game from last uh, week, Nick? Tell me who won it, Nick. Yeah, yeah, Tell yeah. Me who yeah. Won it. Watch- the Washington Commanders. Let's yes, go. we know. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for the Chicago what? pizza and the Chicago hot dogs. As well. <laughs> all right, right. Let's go. Why don't you follow that up with a victory this week? Then you'll impress me. All right, let's uh, let's right. win two in a row here, and maybe I'll maybe I'll say some nice about your team. All right, right. <laughs> But, yeah, like Dylan said, he is at the game this week. There were touchdowns, and there absolutely yes, there were. were touchdowns for uh, both teams, even though one quarterback liked to throw to the other team. The Cardinals beat the Saints 42-34. I'm sorry, Nicole. I know that was hard for you to deal with being a diehard Saints <laughs> fan. Uh, and it was a pretty solid game early, but in the first half, well, Andy Dalton was look. He was throwing them all over the place, Nick. He was throwing it here. He was throwing it there. He was throwing it to black and gold. Everywhere. And he was throwing it to red and white. Uh, he also gave the other team two TDs, two pick sixes. Yes, he did. Uh, Nick, <laughs> man. <laughs> talk to me. You know Andy Dalton. He was your guy last year. Yeah. Talk to me about yeah, him, no, he was. Well, you know, here's the thing, too. You never, you know, it, it sucks sometimes when you get those cheap interceptions where, like, the ball's deflected or a receiver it gets through his hands or he bobbles it or something. I think that was the first the first pick six that was like that. So you sit there and just go, okay, that's a bad break. But then he comes back on the next drive and decides he doesn't he's not finished yet, but throw it to the other team. So he throws another one. Yeah. Now the amazing part about all this, and, and here's the thing. Crit- criticize any dog you want. I think he had three total interceptions in that game outside of the two pick sixes. He had another one uh, you know, in the game. 
But his team was down. I believe it was 28-14 at the half. Mm -hmm. And they battled back. They were within eight points of, of the, you know, at the end there. I mean, again, it probably wasn't as close as it might have looked. But Andy brought him back, like you said. He still had four touchdowns. And for anyone who might have been crazy enough to start him in their fantasy league, like he got like 40-some points. Mm -hmm. So is the Red Rifle dead? I don't know. Or whatever nickname you want to give him. But ninja Ninja. The, the ginger, yeah, you like to call him the ginger ninja. But the fact of the matter is, I think it showed that Andy Dalton actually can still throw the ball. He can still play. This week, I think he he got a, not. And again, you're playing a Cardinal offense that decided to wake up. I think you know they've been struggling, and all of a sudden it's like, well, and you know the thing is, the Saints don't have a bad defense; they have a pretty decent defense. Yeah. But Kyler Murray was like, nope, this is my week. Watch this, and I'm going to show you what I got. And, you know, they got DeAndre Hopkins back. You know, you had, uh, was it the third? Eno Benjamin had started yeah, as a third yeah. string running back, you know, because <laughs> the other two guys are out. So you were like, man, this guy, you know, you have to really give Kyler some credit for this game. And, and, you know, his team scored. 42 yeah. points is probably the most, I think that's the most they've put up all year so far. So kudos to them. The Saints defense had a little bit of a letdown in this game. And then that's that was the reason, again, it doesn't help when the when your offense gives up two touchdowns to the other team. Well, that's 14 points right there. But all in all, you know, you take that away and Saints could have won the game, right? So those things happen. But uh, yeah. overall, like you said, as far as Thursday nights go, the best game of the year so far, obviously the most entertaining because everybody loves offense. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, after the game, after the game we finished thing, this one was like, you know, game of the year so far when you think about the Thursday night game. So it's right. like, yeah, this is phenomenal. We got some offense. We got touchdowns. We got Al Michaels was actually happy, it seemed like. Herb Street, you know, was being his usual self. So, you know, whatever. Herb but Street on the NFL thing. Uh, I don't know, bro. I, 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 I like Kirk for what he does, college football, yeah, you know, college. game day and all that. Fantastic. You're great, Kirk. I don't know about the setup, but that's okay. Like, he's an entertaining guy. You know, he's been around a long time. He understands the game. It's fine. Yeah. But, yeah, just to see Michael's happy again and not criticizing the entire game is funny. Yeah. You uh, know, because Al Michael's – he's, he's hating his job. He was hating his job up until this week. You know he was. Uh, like, what, I take this damn gig. Thursday right. night game I, I like with Herb Street. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo. They give me this guy as a partner. Yeah. Right. Yo, yo, hey, hey, look, you're absolutely right. There was finally fireworks. Finally, they were, they were throwing it all around. And, and to your point, Andy Dalton did not play a bad game. 30 completions. No. He had the four touchdowns over 300 yards. Kamara had under over 100 uh, all-purpose yards. Yeah. Olave, thank you, sir, my fantasy team. He had over 100 receiving yards. He did? Uh, 17 look, points from him. It was great. Exactly. Exactly. But the other side of the field, we saw what happened. The the Kyler Murray, they got it back. D Hop got back, got what 14, 15 targets and had uh yeah, 10 exactly. receptions. Um that defense showed out. But I think, Nate, I'm coming to you. The one moment that everybody's talking about in that game from the Cardinals, timeout called, and Kyler Murray comes to the sidelines and he appears to Re, you know, rip uh, Clink, uh, coach, coach Cliff Kingsbury, a, a, a new one. Uh, he read him the riot act, he went off on a mid game. Coach tried to play it off in the press conference. What were your thoughts when it happened and with the explanation afterwards? Um, that's nothing new. I've seen that before. I just I saw that with Marcus Peters and John Harbaugh against mm -hmm. Buffalo. Um, mm -hmm. it's frustration. Um, look, they they. There, there are expectations for both of them. You know, now you know, Kyler got his money, Cliff Kingsbury got his extension. There's high expectations. I think there was a there was a lot of a lot of misassignments, miscommunication, and there was just frust it was a frust frustration. I'm not going to let that that should, that that should not even really be an issue. They they still won the game. I think to attribute the Generation Z. Now that that kind that that's with all generations. I, I mean that's that's nothing new. So uh, I I think the media, the mainstream media, making a big fuss of it. You know, we really there's one particular uh, person that I'm not going. We all know who I'm talking about. Who really does not want him as head coach for the Arizona Cardinals. Um, I'm not going to make no fuss over it. It happens, um, and they're going to. I think that motivated them to win the game. So. Hmm. 
I think yeah. it, again, it's water under the bridge. Yeah, and it's happened multiple times, and it's it. But like you said, if they're winning the game, it just becomes a minor footnote. It's yeah. not a it's not a major thing. We've seen what happened. The bigger story should have been the three interceptions, two of them which were taken back for mm-hmm. touchdowns, showing how good yeah. that Cardinals defense is. And D Hop is back, ladies and gentlemen. We know he's certain yep. suspension. Finally, he's back on the field. So that should be a great thing. But yeah, like you said, the media blew it up. The expect the uh, the explanation given by Kling's uh, Cliff Kingsbury. I don't say that. Say that that been, times, right, right. right. That, <laughs> that should have been the word play that you say at the beginning of the game to get you ready. Cliff Kingsbury, yeah, Cliff Kingsbury. Right. Cling on, Cliff yeah. Kingsbury. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> say that. Hey, that's right. You know, Work so those yeah. Muscles. Sh- you know, shout out um, uh, to them, Cardinals, for getting a W. And uh, hey, we'll, we'll keep focusing on this. Honestly, at the end of the day, I think it kind of goes back to some of the things that you've said, one of the things you said on your show. You know, you got this guy on a, on a contract where it says you got to do this many hours of was, film yeah. study. You're almost, you're demeaning him and kind of how you're doing it, you know, and this and that. And he's kind of sitting out here like, look, I'm doing what I need to do. What are you doing right. over here with some of the play calls you're calling? There was one play where they right. throw a fade to Rondell Moore. And, 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 more, zone, yeah. and you got D Hop on the field. Are you what? You know what I mean? And I get, yo, you follow yeah. the quarterback, you follow what the play call is, but at the same time, it's yeah. like, bro, let's not get too what are you calling? our own good. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So true. we true, shall true, true. see. Uh, Nicole says, don't worry, they will be back to entertain you on Thursday again in November against <laughs> the Ravens, I believe. Oh, no, there the you Ravens go. Later? Yeah, we do, actually, yeah. Ooh, Thursday. Oh, look at, look at that. Look at that. He said uh, the Ravens will do what they are good at. What, what is what is that, Bobby? Oh, wow. What Bobby. Is Bobby? Figures. Uh, but yeah, I think so. Players and coaches have always had uh, philosophical differences, but the younger mm. players are now going to be – I'm going to cuss out my parents in public thing. Oh, see Robbie's, mm. <laughs> Robbie Henderson for reference. For reference. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.